racing again after caution flag number four of the afternoon. And so far, Jeff, it's been all Dale Earnhardt. It sure has, but these restarts, boy, you always get scared on a restart, especially this Richmond track is so narrow, but everything looks okay right at the moment. So the field comes off the corner with green flag. Mike Porter, Porter is out of shape. He tags the outside. Now the inside retaining wall collects four, five, Got to be a dozen cars in there. Mike Porter tagged first the outside. Then exactly what you said, Jeff. He came off the corner. Everybody seemed to get pinched up against the side. Porter's car was like the silver ball inside the pinball machine, banking back and forth. And there's the aftermath. That, Holy mackerel. That track is blocked, Eli. Uh, that's, I've never seen a wreck this bad. Let's count them there. Obviously, the caution flag out for the fifth time. Nine, ten, looks like 11 cars as best I can count right now. John Linville there, 43, trying to weasel his way out of the corner. Look the, at that. That looks like a demolition derby to me, Eli. Looks like the Long Island Expressway at 5 in the afternoon. <laughs> it could very well be, and boy, I see a car in there. I hate to see that double zero. Yeah. There's Davey Allison surveying the Miller American Buick. Mike Porter, his car was the first one to seemingly get out of shape. The driver from Princeton, West Virginia, Let's watch it again. Let's see if we've called it even correctly. Porter is the three car, the silver and black car, currently third in line coming into the middle of your screen. He just slid up the racetrack, and I can't see who he cut off there, but... Yeah, that's Porter. He got sideways, he got into the outside wall, and here he hits the inside wall. Look at the impact on that guardrail. But it just shot him right back out in front of everyone, Eli. Man, he, col he collects Larry Pollard, the 98. There's John Linville, who takes out Davey Addison. Charlie Luck, Luck in the 45. Tommy Ellis in the middle of that mess. Dale Jarrett has nowhere to go in the 32. What does a driver do in a situation like that? I mean, you come off the corner. Have you ever been in a situation similar to that with as many cars involved in a mess uh, in which you've been part? I've been in a lot of wrecks, but I don't believe I've ever been in one like that where the track was completely blocked. Those fellas had nowhere to go. That's Ronnie Silver's car. The only way to get out of that mess is to back up. Eli, in that kind of condition, you just try to slow down, try to find a hole to get through it. Just hope nobody runs into you. Jerry Punch has made his way down to trackside. He's with Davey Allison. Jerry? Out of his Michael Miller Buick and Davey, the car too torn up to continue. What happened out there? Well, we come off the corner down there, and a couple of lap cars, they just, I don't know what, the, you know, the, the guys are just driving crazy again, and they run all over each other, and it just, big mess in front of me. I couldn't dodge it. I tried to get through and the number three car came back across the track in front of me and pinched me in the outside wall. Davey Ellis, just one of 11 drivers involved in a massive crash here at the start finish line early in the Friedlander 200. Jerry will continue to get the updates from trackside. They have put out the red flag as well you can guess. For those of you who are not familiar with racing terms, that means the race will be brought to a halt. They are getting those cars that can to continue to the back stretch where they will park them. Now, the rules do say, however, that those cars that are in the pit area or in the garage cannot be worked on during a red flag. So those who have already been removed from the track area cannot be worked on until the race is put back under caution. But right now, there's Brett Bodine, the double zero. The 12 is Tommy Ellis's car from right here in Richmond. Mike Porter's car was still up against the wall. And here come the healthy few that are able to continue. Remarkable. <laughs> it sure is. Uh... You know, that, that accident started in the front of the pack. I'm surprised anyone made it through that, that kind of accident, Eli. Uh, there's Tommy Ellis going backwards down the racetrack to get into his pit area. There's Rick Mast, car 22. He's from Rockbridge Baths, Virginia, the 8D Dillard machine. 